Welcome back everyone, this is Captain MKG here. Thank you so much for joining me for the next installment of our Subsistence Let's Play series survival. And it looks like we are just about ready. Well, I guess not. It is still too dark outside for the moment. So, uh, let's see about, oh, uh, not too dark. Well, at the very least the two claim wards are out defending us. We took down the uh, hunter base last time and well, now we have another base to take down. Isn't that right, other hunter base? As you can see from here, two rogues in the nearby. And I think the one rogue is farther south, right? No, it's next to the valley area. So, we can go ahead and just kind of uh, play it safe and stick around the foothill or region area. Do some uh, gathering and scavenging around there. And just not to tick off the rogue hunters. Because it's not exactly where we're like low on weapons, I just rather not have to burn them right now. So we're all set. I have plenty of arrows. We have our Alright, there we go. That's reset. Ooh, speaking of reset. Do I have any crystals left? I do. Fantastic. And I think I need a piece of scrap. Is that right? Oh, it's iron. Iron, iron, iron. Ooh, someone's not having a good night. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we can focus on next. It looks like we're going to need to create a whole bunch of iron bars. So let's get some of those working as well. Uh, we can take... 75, yeah? And we'll just take the rest of this and see what bars we can craft. I think that's all we can do. Yeah, because there goes all the mass that we've accumulated so far, so no worries with that. Uh, we have enough dinners and whatnots cooked. That's excellent. Uh, all the generators are empty. We'll probably top off those with some logs here in a second. No lockpick, so we'll have to just deal with what we have. And let's see here. Grenade and two cordage, huh? Okay. Take my two cordage. Take my one grenade. Oops. Go ahead and queue that up as well. Alright. Uh, no bars in there. No bars in there either. Ah, daylight's coming up. Six bars in here. This is for the pot. And we'll start working out the next BCU cracker as well. So bars, circuit boards, and crystals. Okay. So we'll take whatever. And we'll just take half of these for right now. We'll take 12. We'll go ahead and start that process of resource gathering now. And yeah, I think we'll be fine. Just let those bars go. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Gotta put some logs on the fire. Take out the ash. Okay. Top you off. Take you down. Base power is gonna be okay for right now. It should last us through the day at least. Put all that in there. The rest of it can stay queued up for right now. And you guys will be fine. So, alright. Early morning run. So we've got the foot heels to work with, or foot hills, and I am going to go ahead and check out the hunter base that I took down yesterday or the other day. Yesterday? Whenever. Whenever I took it down, we're just going to double check it, see how they're doing, if they're recovering at all, or if they're trying to rebuild, or, well, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever actually taken down a hunter base, so I have no idea what to expect. Uh, and if I do take out any trees, it's just going to be focused on the Sixers. Oh, you jerk chicken. Not jerk chicken, although that would be kind of tasty right now. Just a jerk chicken. And it might be a crate over there. I bet you it is. It is. To tempt fate with the wolf or not? I 
guess we're tempting the fates then. Let's see if we can buzz around him a little bit. Gotcha. Oh, it was the wrong crate too. There's an ammo crate that I, I just saw. Where did it go? Oh, man. Yeah, I hear you chasing me, you jerk. Leave me alone, wolf. I don't want to deal with you right now, okay? You just wanted that ammo crate, but you couldn't let me have it, could you? And of course, there's another crate up the way. Well, now that he's down, down here, let's see if we can't grab it then. There we go. Okay, I'm out. Oh, ooh, I'm out, definitely out of here now. Dang, well, you just don't give up, do you, buddy? Another bear. Uh, not know what that was. It was anything at all? Is it gone? Just the wood burning stove is left. Wow. Okay. That's kind of weird. But, okay. Interesting. I didn't think they'd be, there'd be anything left in there. Alright, well the campfire is still here. Nothing in there. Well, I guess those ropes are, or those hunters are gone for good. At least for now. Who knows what they could be doing later on in the future. They decide to start rebuilding their base somewhere. And I see the crate over to the left I don't want to go for because of the stupid bear. And plus, why waste time with just one crate when you can go and get a whole bunch of other crates? And the one time we are starting to run out of copper. Not really, but, you know, there's just not enough in the, the supply bin to really be uh, feeling comfortable with that supply. I would like to get over at least a hundred pieces of copper, but, you know, you can only do so much. So another item we're going to work on creating while we're gallivanting around here is trying to get as many of the bars created as we can. So that way we have plenty of iron or metal ingots to work with so we can construct and develop the right tools that we need. Ideally, mostly the double barrel shotgun and probably the other rifle that will shoot off and they'll probably replace this rifle that I have on me. So that we can fire the incendiary rounds too. But one thing at a time. One thing at a time. First things first. I need to get some more fuel. And some more mass. So with the bow. Maybe. Actually no. With the bow. Maybe I can start to go ahead and take down wolves with just the bow. Let's test that theory. Hmm. Let's go after a level 1 wolf if we can find one. Now that I've had some time to let, this, let the thought kind of stew in my brain a little bit. Oh, excuse me. Let's see. Really? The one time I want a level 1 wolf? Nope, that's a level 1 bear. That's not what I was looking for either. So, scrap that exercise. Or at least in that general direction for now. Come on! Dang it. Just keep moving forward. Seriously! Oh, and there was a rabbit too. Son of a gun. Thanks, chicken. Thanks for, you know, being right out of my peripheral. There, finally, target acquired and target eliminated. Cheebus. It only took forever. 
time. Well, like I said, we're going to stick to the foothills for today. Try and see what we can gather up around here. Oh, come on. Alright, well, we're definitely getting into the yellow. I do want to get out of the bear. well, as many of the bears as range as I can. Let's see here. Um, there we go. That'll work. Bit of a respite? Is that the right word? Respite? Not too concerned with you guys now. Because in case you didn't get the memo from your lake from your south side buddies, uh Lakeside is my next target. And after I get Lakeside done, it's time to really gear up for dang it. It's time to really start getting geared up for the uh the fortress attack. I'm taking that base down. Wouldn't that be fun? Not in, a not in a sarcastic sense. I mean, it probably will be fun. It's just going to be really difficult to get in there. And that's probably going to take a bunch of doubled up resources, too, just to be safe. You know. But we'll get to that when we get to it. For right now, I'm sure there. And I know they'll do, they'll do plenty of damage while I'm gone. That's fine. I'll take care of it when I come back. The kids aren't too old yet, so if they get killed, it's not the end of the world, they'll just be a little bit of a setback. Which would be unfortunate. Because, you know, I do like having the kids around. Let's fill up the canteen while I'm down here. Alright, let's go snag ourselves a wolf. Okay. Alright, Wolf, let's see how well you do against the bow here. Not bad. Okay, four rounds still. I mean, the bow could use at least one upgrade to really be super effective against uh, taking down wolves. Let's see, 95 from 70 to 57. Uh, let's see. Dang it. Alright, 95 to 57. That would have been 35 plus 3, so 38 points of damage. Okay. So we increase that one more tier. We can definitely up the overall damage from it. Speaking of damage. Okay, that was half. Excellent. So yeah, we'll have to up the, the bow to one more tier before we can really take advantage of trying to save the bullets. So yeah, new weapons. And upgrade the current ones we have. And like I said, primarily the bow. So we can get the bow upgraded, start taking a few better shots, taking down wolves. And hey, we'll be looking good. Oh, nuts. Leave me alone, bear. Okay, you're not gonna get me. Might be able to get the deer if you get lucky. But you're just not going to catch me again. Ooh, another bear. That's no bueno. Ah, crate in the distance. And the wolf to test. Okay. Okay, that bear's giving up. Nice. So if I have enough room, I can go ahead and get two arrows 
uh, slugged into the wolf. Then only one bullet to take it down. Okay. So yes, that'll be the next crucial improvement is the bow. Hands down. Because that way if we have the bow increase our wolf count or our wolf kill count we can start getting as much biofuel as we can produce arrows. Which will be good for everyone. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, nothing but the six are around here, as far as I can tell. Except that little chicken. There we go. Alright. Let's chop down the sixer, because we're gonna need the we're gonna need the wood here in a little bit when we go back to base and have to repair everything. You know, like I said before, mostly repairing the wall, which I'm totally fine with. I'd rather repair the wall than have to repair the um, the metal act or the metal walls, just because metal walls take planks and that requires significant more res or amount of more blue more resources than what it would take to just repair a basic wall. So yeah, we'll do that. Nines I can go ahead and craft. Oh, there it is. I was like, I could have sworn it was another plant for that. Okay. Oh, man. Alright, well, I guess that way's off limits. Okay. Alright, game, what do you've got for me? I know you've got something for me. Come on. Let me see. Come on. Really? Just fibers game? Alright, well. I guess I can't complain too much about it. I mean, it's better than not having anything at all. So, there is that upside to it. And is that another sixer? Yes, it is. It's the one up... Right on the edge of the foothills, I think. Hmm. The other thing to be concerned about is wild cougar spottings. Just never know when they're going to show up out of nowhere, especially since they blend so well into the brown background. Okay, don't see it. So we might be okay to continue our journey through the hills, circle back, and prepare the base. Maybe take out some hunters if they're still hanging around the base area, but we'll see. We shall see. Wolf. I don't think... No, I don't have any backup water on me. So we'll deal with that right now. But we'll deal with this! Oh. Okay. No other critters running around. At least we're in nice cool weather, so I don't have to worry about being overburnt or overcooking myself. And I saw you, Wolf. Just don't make me have to deal with you, okay? Good job, Wolf. Okay. Now I get to go and visit this side that we haven't really done in, well, not a long time, but we don't typically head over in this general direction. Just because it's so far out of the way half the time. Okay. I know, little guy. Okay, let's see what we can spot. Mm, there. Nothing. Nothing above, so we can continue onward. A little bit around this bend. See if we can't find something. Hmm. Okay. 
Not a whole heck of a lot. It's fine by me. It's like I can refill the canteen while I'm up here. Oh, good. Another wolf we can try and take down. Dang it. Not enough. Sorry, with how much with how many uh hit points it had, I doubt I would be able to take it down with just with just the nine millimeter, so. Quick decision. Okay, did get my water, just wanna double check. Okay, not very really much rest around here at the moment. Other than a couple of sixers and Brushing up against some very loud roughage. You know, some loud plants that make it very obvious where I am. Oh, merd. There we go. Quick decision. <laughs> Dang. Didn't really feel like burning out all of that, but whatever. Do what you have to do get the ores that you have to as well. I'll take a snack break after I'm done mining. Then we'll reassess the situation, see if we want to go ahead and head back already. Ooh! Lots of ore potential here. Ooh, excuse me. The sandwich I had earlier. Alright, ooh, really, really healthy ore deposits over here. Man. Don't mind me if I do. Just grab some of these little quick plants around. Oh man, another one. Just ore season, I guess. Okay, another bullets. Right now to reload. Finally, a crate. Of course, it has to be next to a bear, because why wouldn't it be next to a bear? Oh, son of a gun. Really? Really, game? You hurt me. You hurt me so much, game. Then again, this all could have been prevented if I had just bothered... Well, if I had bothered to go back and replenish the mass supply, sure. But since I didn't bother to do that... I couldn't have created one anyways. Oh come on, seriously, there you go. Like get up there and get that ore. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and replenish ourselves here. Let's do a little management. Just the dead ones. Okay. See, we can grab before we have to run on back. Oh, you hurt me. You hurt me so much, game. I hope you're aware of that. Oh, balls. Hey, girl. Come on down. Seriously, again. Jeebus. Come on, dude. Seriously, how do you, how do I miss? I, I shot four shells into it. Gosh. All right. Well, you know what this means. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, now. Man, pain in the butt is what I am. And of course it would be all the way up there. Not much daylight left either, so that means of course I'm probably going to have to camp out. All the way up there with another cougar. 
just deal with all the riffraffs around here, too. Alright, well, let's get to it, then. At the very least, it should be interesting to see where the rogues decide to camp out this time. Uh, what would I potentially cost? Ammo, for sure. I'm hoping I didn't lose the upgraded shotgun. That'd be another blow to the ego. Alright, so the fortress is the only thing that's left up there. And I have to go and do some camping. Great. And to add insult to further injury, I have almost no points in my stats at all. Thanks, game. Nothing else, I appreciate that. That's right, you better run, little guy. Cause I'm coming. Coming to get you! Got it. If I can outrun me, huh, little chicken? You thought wrong. Yeah, and unfortunately we're probably going to have to stop midway just because we're going to run out of juice here for running. So, do the best we can. Uh, we should be able to at least craft a campfire once we get up there. And once I get all my gear back, we should be good to go. It'll just be a matter of making sure I can survive the night, which... With the food staples I have with me on my dead body, that shouldn't be a problem. Just a matter of making sure I get over there. In time, hopefully, with everything being attacked. Because right now I'm just ignoring everything. Now I'll just let it replenish for the next run through. This will definitely give me something to do when I come back. It's like, oh, what am I going to do today? Oh, I know. How about running right back to base like you should have done? That'll be important for later. Because if nothing else, when I have to slow down, I'll have to create some biofuel. And create myself a wood, uh, wood, burn, or wood starting sheets. A fire starting kit. Once we have that created, we'll have to create a campfire too. So I'm going to have to do some chopping here in a little while. But, first things first. Gotta get to the body. Gotta get back to the body. And hopefully not run... I was about to say, hopefully not run into any opposition, but... You know. Apparently I can't have everything today. Uh, I should have used my better judgment and just not have gone after that, uh, that cougar. Oh well. What's done is done. Least them not underwater. But that's going to be a task for another day. So I am going to have to go back under the sea to try and get uh, you know, more crystals. Create the next ECU cracker. Take out the next round of hunters. Dang, I got far though. Now the other trick here is to also avoid any other cougars that might be running around. Or wolves that matter. So, that's medicinal. Oh, sure, what the heck. Okay, that'll work. Alright. Well, at least we have plenty of time to try and get over there. So hopefully I don't lose it. Oh, mayor. already learned my first lesson. Don't attack the cougar unless you're good and ready. Oh, come on! Ugh. And my stamina bar isn't looking too great either. I'd rather not burn a shell against the, the wolf there right now until I get the bag back. It must be getting closer. question is, as I get closer, where's that cougar at? Hmm. Oh, right there, huh? But 
Wait for it. There you go. That's how you kill a cougar. Jeez, aim for the head and wait. Goodness sakes, wait. I cannot stress that enough, me. Alright, let's get my gear and go, go, go. Of course. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and butcher. What did we drop? Two things? Health kit, light pants. Uh, let's see here. Hang on, cover. Okay. Let's make for some good light pants later. Alright. Or sorry, they'll make for some good uh, cloth here to use later. Alright. I'm just rummage around through here. Let's look, it's really dark, of course. Uh, tear, grab, run. At least we're all set for them. I didn't, it's not like I had any ammunition in the shotgun to begin with, so no loss there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Deer. Crate. Shush chicken to shush your mouth. Wow, what was that? Really, cordage? Um. Wow. Okay. Um. There. Jeebus, get so picky about my inventory. Oh well. well. We definitely have some work to do around here, though. I will try and get myself back to a closer position back towards the base. And that'll have to do it for today. Just to go through the usual running around of you know, putting ourselves back to a healthy position. Which means also getting rid of this glow stick. So forget it. You win, rabbit. Nope, I certainly hope the kids and the plants are going to be okay for tonight. So I'm just going to need to head, have to head straight back to it when we're done. You know, can't necessarily, can't exactly wait around. Dang it, really? What is that? That for a second. Okay. Alright. Come on, ammo crate. Give me something good. Uh, kind of, but not really, dude. What was this? Oh, I do have my six shooter. Okay. Okay. Now that I'm pretty much SOL when it comes to seeing anything, let's go ahead and find ourselves a nice little camping spot. By the river? Sure. By the waterfall works. Alright. Well, that was a bit of an entertainment. <laughs> Swap. Reload. Keep fire spinning two sticks. Oh, come on. Campfire, please. Rotten meat, eh? Okay. And hopefully it doesn't all go to rot, because I could use some sustenance right now. Okay, let's put a little brick. Pop that in there. Okay. No, 
nothing else should rot, or at least now. You can at least get one shell. Okay. Yeah, this will work for now. Alright, let's go ahead and create one shell. Let's unload weapon. Swap. Alright, I guess not. Swap those. Of course, there goes a liver. Uh, swap that out. Another nine. Got me two shells. Just staying on guard. Okay. Um, swap the rifle right into there. Okay. At least we have something to work off of tonight. Come on, steaks. Get your butts cooked. Yeah, nothing else really to go on with here. I'm waiting for the rogues to do their thing. Can no more vegetables to no more fruits or veg to speak up, so that's fine. I have four arrows, so let's actually run nine sticks, okay. Okay, well there goes that one, whatever that one was. No, might as well get something crafted while we're hanging out. And my clothes can do some repair for me. Well. Some of them just can't be repaired right now. In this situation, pretty much everything can't be repaired right now. Oh, one more stick, eh? All right. I wonder if I could probably recycle half the rotten meat that I have in the store as well. Like, longest night ever. Might as well do something useful around here, you know? Get something done. We should just plant the kerosene in here and just watch it grow. <laughs> oh, that's right. Let's check the map real fast. see anyone near me at the moment, so it'll be a very interesting trip back, that's for certain. Okay. And why not? Might as well cook those up while we're doing it. Okay. Uh, they don't do any other points. Anything else I can craft out all the hangouts. Uh, if you want to just craft up the quarters, then it just lets all that as well. Uh, no sense in crafting the Wars are okay on, nothing to do with the medical fibers, but the medical plants are right now. So yeah, now it's just unfortunately a bit of a waiting game to see. And hopefully the sun comes up. Because so I'm surely not going to be venturing out into the wilderness in the darkness here. Pop those two on. Map check. Uh, if we just stick to the foothills, it looks like we could be okay getting back. Now there's another one. Alright, daylight. Thank goodness. Just read a little bit. 
get some arrows crafted as well. Okay, now I can essentially see what's going on around me. That's a plus at least. We do put you in there. If you two would need them. Once this is all done purifying, we'll head back. And I know it's been a bit of a long episode, but we're basically just going to go straight on back to base. Then I will probably just camp out of the base for the day. And at least we survive without any kind of issues. Well, as long as you don't count being killed, I mean, you know, there's one issue that we didn't really anticipate. <laughs> And there's obviously no loots around here to grab, so no problem there. Alright, we're out. It's been real. It's been real, Forest Land. It's really real. Appreciate your hospitality. Now it's time for me to get back to my own base. Let's see what kind of damage is being done. Oh man, can I still see anything? One there, one there. Alright, we've got a clear path through the foothills, so we should be okay. So yeah, unless there's any crates or anything important, we should try and beeline it right back to base. No more cougars! Oh wait. Oh, that's right, I killed the cougar after I got killed, so I didn't lose any sinew. So, there's, there's a plus side to everything. I didn't lose all the delicious sinew that I could have lost had I not kept my wits about me. Oh, weird. And actually, I really didn't keep my wits about me because if I kept my wits about me, I would have been back at base divvying up all these resources anyways. So, but nothing to be done about that now other than just trying to hustle back to base. And trying to grab whatever we can on the way back. And then not only call it a video, but then we'll see what we can do tomorrow at the base. Hopefully try and craft up some good things here. I'm almost confident the fridge is still being ran. Okay. So no worries about the food going bad. Thankfully. Because I think the base generates enough power on its own when it is below 500 to go ahead and cover the cost of keeping the refrigeration unit online, so... I'm not too concerned, but it would be nice just to get back just to see, you know, how depleted it is. Man, this is what I get for not really taking time to come up to the, to the foothill area too often. There's not much around here. Let's count the cougars. Which, I mean, I guess you could. Part of me says no, just because, you know, they're kind of like a special creature that only habitates up around the bottom of the of the mountain there, so. Ah well, what do I know? I'm just trying to hustle here. Hustle myself back to base. Trying to get delicious ores, are you kidding me? Three of them. Well, now we're definitely gonna have to upgrade the folks. I'm gonna need a lot of power now. Oh, I thought there was a third one up here. Oh, there's a third one over there. That'll work. Sweet. No convoluted jumping around, just a straight climb up. Okay. Now we're definitely going to need to get some ores going here. Let's see if the strawberries will work. Okay, back to. Back to all the running. Run, 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 little friend. Run, run, run. 
I don't want to hear it from either of you right now, okay? Good. Thank you. Thank you for not making me have to deal with either one of you right now. <laughs> By either one of you, I meant the wolf, or the bear, or both. I don't care which, but... Either, either, and or both. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care until I get this bow upgraded. Not at least through one upgrade, through at least a second one. Just so I can really do some wolf damage. And take those wolves out. And get their sweet, delicious fat. Looking at you, level 3 wolf. Looking at you, bud. If I can take you out with two or three arrows, well, heck, that'd just be a good thing for all of us. Right. Back to pop up. Okay, so obviously the hunters did not start rebuilding their base yet. So again, it does make me kind of wonder, will they come back at all? And if they do, are they going to build a new base? Did they take out a section? They did. They took out a section of my wall. Those jerks. Didn't even notice that on the way back. Or when I was leaving. Son of a gun. Oh, I also have to make sure I purchase another spawn before I forget too. Because heaven forbid I get shot out again. Yeah, they did. Those jerks. They shot out one of my wall segments. Well, not too hard to guess who's next now. Oh, look. The area's free, and so the deer are running wild up there now. <laughs> and, yeah. No sign that they're rebuilding, so... Just keep an eye on it over the next day or two here. Just to be absolutely sure. And yeah, let's see. So yeah, I've got a wall to rebuild. Oh, snap. Where did those guys come from? Uh, swap. They rebuild somewhere else, and I just didn't know about it. Excuse me. you come from? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they are rebuilding their base already. Oh man, the claymores didn't do anything? That's nice. Wow. Okay, only one of you took a hit. Oh, two of you took a hit. No! You're both dying of, of thirst and hunger. Jeez, I'm sorry guys, hang on. Let me just put this away. Don't worry guys, I'm starving too. Okay, well. Guess they did destroy the ball. Pretty close to it, though. That's probably why I saw the glitch out in the way there. Alright. Let's put this stuff away. Alright, let's do some management here. Oops, not you. Uh, spare shotgun. Rot. Is the fridge still working? Oh, yeah, it's of course. Okay, we are topped up there. Two of you, two of you. Okay, split, drop. Is 
that. Drop, 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 drop. Okay. Oh boy, okay. Find another spawn. Go ahead and put these in reserve for now until I know the until I get a better idea of the power situation. And let's see. Put the food stuff away for now. Okay, nothing else in there. I have a couple of you guys take you upstairs to the plants. And let's go upstairs and see what damage has been done up there. Hmm. Seriously though, I do wonder where those guys came from. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. And we'll have to take their, their base down again. Maybe they're just mad because I destroyed their last base. I mean, I'd be, I'd be upset too. I get it. I get their anger and frustration. Just a matter of if I care enough. Things always been damaged. Okay. Ooh. Have to focus on repairing the base. It looks like first before I start repairing anything else. Okay. Slugs. Drop off the spare axe for recycling purposes. Take those. One, two, three, four. No ammo cases to speak of. Plenty of these to speak of. Okay. Hmm. Power's looking, yeah, ish. It's pride for this. More power. Alright, we definitely got all those. So yeah, definitely gonna upgrade the bow. Uh, use another piece of rope. Three, three. Okay. Just might as well go ahead and get everything filled up while we're hanging out. Maybe one of those new fires is actually a uh, regular hydro base for back. Interesting. Well, more of a pain in the butt than anything. Okay, drop the rope. Swap those. Uh, what else do I need to do? Drop, drop, drop. Uh, stove. Oh, that's right. I was going to check on the chat right now. Almost there. Okay, plants are all set. Yeah, because I don't see... I didn't see them come from the lake. I don't think anyways. So yeah, we're going to have to get some repair work underway. Let's go ahead and get that started now. So I'm not waiting around here forever. Might as well take the planks as well. Repair whatever needs to be repaired. It's fine, 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 fine. Fine. Fine, fine. Still fine. Huh. Doing all right for yourself. Okay. okay. Not too terrible. Just gotta repair some of this stuff. There we go. Okay, let's then outside and repair some of the wall. It's mostly been getting hit. Person and his wall. 
Built a wall, George. I guarantee you they're growing dope back there, George. Man, you're gonna do it again, aren't you? You son of a jerk. Oh well, that's the least that's the one I'm least worried about at the moment. Alright, let's fuel up on water again. I was actually getting the fuel out as well. I'll take seven over nothing. Okay. Alright, well, that is wrapping up for today. We get some backup power generated. Alright, well. This has certainly been an entertaining episode, I'm sure. Just need some more shells is really what I need, so. Alright everyone, well that is going to do it for today. We're gonna just hop up here, keep our eyeballs peeled for the next attack. And hopefully we'll be back to take care of some plants. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. This is Captain MKG signing off. Take care.